we're about to get in some rumors now. If y'all don't, you know, if you don't want any Marvel rumors, then go away. Off, for sure. But I know if you're here, you rock with Listen Three Thousand. You know what we get into. So mm-hmm. you know, we about to get into some stuff right now. So, um. This is from Rejected Scooper. Shout out to Rejected Scooper. He's been going crazy, or they've been going crazy. I don't know. They've been right. going crazy on, on on Twitter. And uh yeah, this is this is something about the X-Men. And you know we're big fans of the X-Men here yes. at this podcast. That's big fans. And um so. this is one thing, this is a scoop that they said, and we're gonna kind of react to what this is. So the tweet is Marvel Studios wants to start off their mutant saga with a cosmic film that could tell the full story of our new MCU and how it came to be, at least for right now. The MCU's X-Men will be retconned into the history of the MCU after Secret Wars. Now, if that's true, because, again, these are rumors. These rumors. can change all the and, time. And, by the way, I bet there's a chance that a lot of whatever they have in mind for it will change. It is so far ahead. But, like, yeah. if that. But if, we, do, we know we do got a writer, so. Yes, exactly, yeah. right? That's why the ideas are probably coming from a genuine place right now. You yeah, know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. Um, but with that, if it's true. You want to go for it? I don't even know what to say. I'm just excited because they haven't dealt with the, all the other X-Men iterations that we've seen. We haven't dealt with cosmic stuff. Yeah. And just from like, if you watch other iterations of X-Men, like yes. X-Men 97, yes. original X-Men animated series, they do, they dabble in the cosmic stuff. I feel like that's underrated with the X-Men because they get into a lot of like earthly, discriminatory, political things. But like, she are Empire, the Phoenix, the Phoenix Force, uh, Stuff like that gets into cosmic cosmic areas. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they want to get into that more is already a beautiful. It's already be dope. And I, and also, I, I didn't even think about this, but this is something just straight off the top of the dome right now. When we got the Eternals, I always was assuming like because again, before we got any word about the X Men, I know us as Marvel fans speculating was like, yo, how no, are we going to bring them in? I remember. How are we going to bring them in? Yeah, yeah. I think always was like, yo, I, I feel like they're going to do something with the Eternals because in the comic books. The X Men, the mutants are deviants. They are yes. offspring of the Eternals. So I wonder if that's something they're gonna d- dabble in because that. that'd be a cool way to get cosmic yes, with some stuff that we already have in MCU, but mm-hmm. also bringing in new stuff. That's so, a lead in. That's comic. my little theory. No, that's a great you know I mean? dab. Smoke we, you smoking this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in my opinion, I can bounce off of that specifically too. The way that you looked at it is different the way I looked at that tweet, actually, which is still dope. I actually. I'm not sure which one I want more because they both would be awesome. The way I looked at that tweet, I'm going to say it again so you get why I'm saying it. Marvel Marvel wants to start off their mutant saga with a cosmic film that could tell blah, 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 right? It didn't say it's an X-Men film. It said it's during the mutant saga. It said they want a cosmic film during the mutant saga. So the way I originally took it was a cosmic movie that has possibly either something to do with mutants but isn't mutants like a fantastic four mutant a fantastic four movie or you know what i'm saying there's somebody else's movie and they involve them or something you know what i'm saying something that's cosmic but it's during that saga and then that's why i took even more the next thing where they were saying that the mcu's x-men will be retconned into the origin will be crazy because whatever this thing is it would it might be the movie of us seeing like the past or whatever, you know I mean, what I'm saying? Did say like it was going to show you the new exactly the new MCU, right, but that so. could do it two different ways. That could do sure. it with scenes, or it could do it with like a how do I explain this? Like a, a Korg and um, Thor, uh, right? Uh, and Thor, or even uh, like in Black Panther at the beginning, how he kind of told him the story of Wakanda. Great, great example, yeah. just like that. Yes, mm-hmm. that better example too. And honestly, that's something that they've done not that particular thing, but like I don't know if the you remember the, the X Men movies. Like at the beginning, oh. it'll be Charles talking like. Oh yes, the yes, dawn of point. humans, da, 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 the X yes. gene, and things evolve, yes, and things yes, like yes. that. Like he, that's that started a multiple X Men movies. Yes. Him talking that way, right, so that right. could be Absolutely a way. Absolutely right. Stuff. So I, that's a different. That's a very interesting, different perspective, though. I, I do like that. Yeah, it could be, and honestly, be, both know. are really exciting to me. Both because I think it's dope if they have a. That's why I said I bounce off of you because that could be Eternals. This movie could be Eternals and it's breaking down all of the connections to everything. That could be correct, you know? Yeah. Like, what man, a way to make people go see the Eternals too. Come on, right? I ain't gonna lie. I hope that's good, real. That's all. Yeah, it's that's a that's a great one to me for sure. Great one. And stand on the X. Oh, come quick. on, great point. I almost um, forgot. Almost forgot. Again, like I said earlier, they do have a writer. Um, what is his name, yo? Is it Michael, Michael Leslie. Leslie? Michael Michael Leslie. Leslie. Um, apparently, they say that hit what yeah. hit, in his pitch. Mm-hmm. His pitch, okay, okay. According to his pitch for the X Men reboot, and pro- reportedly including the same members of the same members as the X Men ninety seven roster. Yes. So that's interesting. We're not gonna go through all of them because there's a lot. But yeah, I mean, not really. 
You got Jean Grey like Cyclops. Eight, right? Okay, Jubilee, hold on. We can do it. Gambit, roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're really fast. Oh, you got the picture, right? Yeah. Say it again, one by one. So we got Wolverine. Wolverine. Jubilee. Mm -hmm. Jean Grey. Mm -hmm. Cyclops. Mm -hmm. Rogue. Mm -hmm. Gambit. Mm -hmm. Beast. Mm -hmm. Storm. Mm -hmm. You could say Bishop, but he kind of. I don't know if they're going to no, include him. No, don't include him. You could say Nightcrawler. I don't know if they're no, going to include him. As much as I love Nightcrawler. Well, wait, no, but they might. They that might. Is a part I would of, hope they he would. Eventually became, that's their roster, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, right, the, so roster changed, the roster changed throughout the show. It changed. So, Morph? Morph was Morph, always Yeah, Morph too. as well, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Morph has never There's been about 12. as well. There's about 12. I'm, I, I'm already past 10. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a... That's a I, I'd say that because the rumors that we heard before was actually a shorter, a smaller roster. Yeah. So, like, that's interesting. When we think of the original the original X Men movie, what, how, how many was on that roster? It was, was Jean Grey, Cyclops, Beast. No, no, Beast was not a part of that. Not the roster. first one. No, he wasn't. Even the second movie, it was right? Jean Grey, Cyclops, Storm, Wolverine, mm -hmm. Rogue, mm -hmm. Iceman, or not yet? He wasn't necessarily a part. Hey, of a part of he the went team. to the school, but he right? Wasn't I got you. Okay, mm -hmm. keep me on. Um, right, I just as many. That's what I'm saying. Might be it. It, it one or two that we just can't yeah. remember because Beast didn't pop up until like so the second movie. Yeah, that's my point. So this is a very he wasn't even part of the team really until like right because he carted off on some government movie. type time. Right, movie, really, right, yeah. right, 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 right. That's crazy too. So look at that difference. So that's why I'm actually kind of excited if that's true. Mm -hmm. I I just want them to, to give us people where we haven't got to really get a chance to get. Well, it. that's kind of where I was going to lean sure. towards. I think with that information, if that's true, it is another plus because it shows us that it's going to actually be a Team. ensemble movie. Yeah. Actually be an ensemble movie. Not the just way the X-Men show. 97 show it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The way the show comes off, you know? Yeah. And that's hard. I won't lie. That's hard to do with movies, yo. Like, I know everyone wants that. Y'all going to have to get a team of writers. Like, you know? That's hard. Real, real talk. Like, for two hours... Everybody, 12 people. So you're still going to have to get like a dynamic of like three to four mains and certain things are going to transpire to make it, yeah, it all weasel into what it is. Story is and that's OK. We're going to have to deal with that. But I, I have a feeling that that's the best sign ever for that. You know what I mean? That means they really ready to get into the gang. So, man, the news that's coming out is crazy. Right and I feel like um we got Comic Con coming up real soon. Woo, the weekend um, of Deadpool. The weekend of Deadpool. Like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't know that. The weekend of Deadpool is Comic Con, so that's going to be a crazy weekend. So just so y'all know, if y'all didn't get your tickets yet, you should get them literally right now, because everyone's going to go to see Deadpool because they know something's going to lead into whatever they're going to be talking about. Yeah. It's obvious. It's obvious. But I do got a feeling we're going to get some X Men news at Comic Con for sure because of maybe this film. Maybe you never know. I don't know, but maybe I think we will though. Yep, I agree with that. All right. Well, now since we're on scoops, right? Basically with the X Men stuff. We got a couple more scoops for you. First, we're going to do, I think it's three we got today. Uh, first one is from Divinity Seeker. Shout out to them. I don't know if this is true. We never know if these rumors are true. And sometimes they are true, but they change later on. So you never know. But as of right now, it is rumored that Isaiah Hill has the offer to star in the Young Avengers movie, which films in Atlanta starting April 2025. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to need you to say that one more time, but I'm going to need you to shout out. All the swagger fans. See, that's why I was. That's been that. showing us so much love on TikTok. Oh, you stole that's that. Been showing us so much love oh, on yes, YouTube. You that's been showing us so much love. No, that's you know they going. They, they going crazy. This, up. this so is was for, this was for y'all. He, he just stole the thunder. My I bad. Was, I was bad. trying to wait. He got I need, thirsty. I need you to turn it up. You didn't have enough swag. You had to wait. For My, the bad. My bad. My bad. I'm, I'm standing back. There you go. Uh, O'Shea would be upset. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, ready? I'm gonna. I will say it again for that reason. Isaiah Hill has the offer to star in Young Avengers movie, which films in Atlanta starting April 2025. So, a couple things to take, to break down. But before again, we break it legend. down, it's all, all of that. Before we break that down, shout out to the swagger guy. Everybody on TikTok. Twitter, Instagram, all social media that's been showing us mad love on specifically, though, our TikTok about swagger. Um, yeah, man, I love that show. I thought it was a really stupid decision to cancel it. Shit, you could bring it back. I wouldn't mind at all. Um, but the the star of that show, I don't remember his name right now. It's been a long time since since I watched it. it was incredible. Oh, you mean the character? The character. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Um, I think it was with a J. I just don't remember right now. But um, man, he he is allegedly get in the role to star in the movie. Before I break down why that's interesting, man, just shout out to him if that's true. I will say, even though I think he's really good, I'm very interested and excited and nervous for him in a good way, though, with positive energy, but nervous to see if this is true. 
one, you're leading a movie. Regardless of Young Avengers and being a Marvel, you're leading a movie. Leading a TV show is one thing. Leading a movie is a different thing, being a younger person. It's true. So I shout out to you, dude, because I think apparently that was his first film, uh, first like actual big production thing that he ever did, like at all. So the fact that your next thing, and this is true, it's Young Avengers, is ridiculous. And that's a lot of pressure. So I just hope he smokes it because, you know, look, look at you with like a casting, right? I'm not trying to be funny, but like you, you know, there's a lot of weight. You you need a seriousness, and you're a kid, so I mean, we she's need not that, that both. Young, though. I'm just saying her having to play a child. That's oh, all okay. I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's hard. That's the point, right? You have to be able to play it with a certain innocence and a certain. You know, we still you dealing with people dying, right? It's a different thing. So, w- shout out to him, and I'm so excited, and I hope this is true, so that he does get the role. With that, this scoop is crazy because I already know who he is. If that's the case, yeah, brother. Okay, give me your theory. What's your theory? Is it a theory? All right, y'all. What Young Avenger it was not announced yet. Hulkling, right? He's not the lead of Young Avengers, at least in any comic I I heard about, right? And I didn't even read him. You you tell me all the stuff. Uh, who else isn't isn't um? You tell me who else isn't cast yet that we know is Tommy the Young Avengers. Uh, Tommy and Billy and Tommy. Billy and one Tommy. of them is one of them is Billy is right. Bill- whoever's Wiccan is cast. Yes, yeah, whoever's Wiccan is cast, and I like an him Agatha. too, and He's I like him. I'm excited to see him actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yes. So his brother, which this isn't bad, y'all, but he's, he's white, obviously. It's not going to be Isaiah Hill, yeah. right? They're not doing, the, they're not going, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, unless, social, unless Wanda, social. Unless, unless Wanda met Wonder Man. Oh my God, boy, stop. You got to stop. That was a deleted scene. We didn't see that yet. By the way, <laughs> by the way, even though we're being funny, they potentially could be the lead. <laughs> so maybe, maybe, right? But is there any other one that I'm missing? I don't think I'm missing any other Not ones. really, no. Besides Miles Morales and... I don't think he's going to be that. And that would be lit, though. That'd be crazy, by the way, but I don't think he'll be the lead of Young Avengers. And also, that's, that's a Sony all. thing. You see, they're doing their own thing. Right. They're, they're allegedly doing their right. own, their own thing. Their own thing. For Miles Morales. You know Kevin. Fingers in crossed. There. You know Kevin in there. Prayers up. Kevin's in there. Because Sony's wild. I hope so. They cast a Tom and they did a good job, if that's the case. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I need a match just for that. But, so anyway, the only one that isn't cast and who would most likely be the leader of the Young Avengers? And who most likely would be black? Based on previous iterations, <laughs> you gotta say it now. <laughs> Iron, Iron Lad. Lad, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, that's a lot of weight, bro. Like that's not Cassie. That's more weight. You know what I'm saying? Like that's man, and he's good, bro. He's really good in the show, but he also gives you like a natural. The, the, it's just two different things. Swagger's dealing with basketball. You know what I mean? Like kids basketball so it's like it's so grounded it's so at home it's so real it's so natural i think picking him is beautiful because it's going to give such a natural vibe to the character which is really dope but it's going to be in 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 the craziest environment you know what i'm saying like dude is literally about to be related to kang like it's like if that's true that's a different is kang Sorry, I forgot. That's what I meant because it isn't it the he's ancestor just a thing? Version of Kane. He's just no, a child. No, he's, but he's, he's him growing. I forgot. It's, a, I'm confused. It's time stuff. Thank you. Clear it up because they'll grind me up. Clear it up, please. Of Kang. He's a younger version of Kang. That's what Iron Lad is, right? He but he chose Kang. to be good. He tries to in his in to his. Be, he tries to choose to be good. Oh no! It get a little tricky. Thing. It get a little tricky. I mean, eventually, he always ends up becoming. But it, but it gets tricky though. Yeah. He just always eventually. That's ends up why they got him because yeah. he can play that, not in a bad way, but like he's street, he's from the street in in there. You know what I mean? That's a part of the role. Like, oh, I like this man, man. My prayers and and positive energy go to you, dude. I one hope you get the role, and two, if you get it, I hope you smoke that, John. Because honestly, you do that, then you add a couple of weighted characters that we care about and plot line that we care about that movie will be gas regardless of who wants to see it or not that's real it will be gas regardless you know yeah. but they got to do it right and but that's a great step because again he's a, he's solid and he comes off very genuine so yeah i like that Places I've been on-